Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Hermitcraft server. I'm back. I'm back for my mini vacation and it's time to catch up on some things on the server. What's the first thing you do when you come back from a vacation? While well, you check the mail, of course. Looks like we've got mail. Let's see. We got property of Hermit Post Co. No job too small. Interesting. Well, that's the, that's the, this is the property, right? We got a Clio stamp. We got no job too small from Clio. Hello, are you looking to add a little something to your build? Something only armor stands can provide? Do you want tips on how to arm, how to do armor stands yourself? Do you want to pay me to just go away? <laughs> I can help. Cleo's armor stand and going away service <laughs> available for cash or barter. I've included a stamped self-addressed envelope for your response or just to have as part of your stamp collection. Oh, this is interesting. I'm always looking for a little armor stand work. I mean, I've grown to be Pretty good with armor stands myself, but nothing compared to Cleo. Cleo is the armor stand goat. I should also check on my shops. Let's start here at Half Foods. Oh, we got another trophy, 250 diamonds. Now, oh man, this these golden. I think I feel like we gotta raise the price on these golden carrots because they're taking all of the profits from. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm getting half and half either way. Wow, nothing, huh? Nothing. Nobody wants anything other than golden carrots. I tell you, the pa Oh, okay, okay. I like... Oh, I shouldn't take that. We're gonna split it. Um, I like the fact that some people took some carrots, but the, the, the hermits need need to expand their palates a bit. I mean, come on. Look at cooked salmon. Cooked salmon for a whopping two diamonds? That's nothing. People should be dying to buy some cooked... Oh, the honey's doing even better. I'm gonna talk to XB about this. Shulker shop next, hopefully. Oh, it's empty. That... Hmm. I feel like Ethos taking a whole lot of shulkers. Oh boy. Okay, there's still some shulkers left in here. Oh, that is very nice. That's almost a stack of diamonds. And then, oh, I gotta, I gotta fill it up again. All right, all right, 51 diamonds so far, not including the diamonds from the food, from, from Half Foods. And now let's go over to the basalt shop. Now, do you guys know if anybody's actually tried the jump? I haven't heard of anybody trying it, but maybe you guys have watched some videos and some people have tried the jump. There's the water um, block right there. I'm very curious to see if they've tried it and if they've made it. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing. 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 Oh, no. Nothing. Oh, couple sales there. Okay, couple sales, couple sales. Not bad, not... Hey, some more sales. Look at that. Now we are over a stack. We're about a stack and a quarter. That is not bad. Okay, so 64, 77, Doc M, 77 diamonds? Wild. 77 diamonds, not bad. It's time to complete our mission possible. Now, let's take a look at the requirements here. Build yourself a bedroom in another hermit's base. A bedroom is only a bedroom when it has at least one bed, one ender chest, a light source, and a potted bamboo plant. Got it. Now, which... Hermit. Oh, that looks so good. Which hermit should I build this secret base in? Or secret bedroom. I think I found a perfect spot for a bedroom. This is a bedroom with a view. Huh? We ready for bridges? Absolutely. Absolutely. Be first. We ready for bridges. Yeah, absolutely. We're ready for bridges. This is going to be my new bedroom. Now, I need your cooperation here in not saying anything. To Wells. This is Wells' base. I want to make sure that this stays here as long as possible because Wells has such a huge and expansive base that it might be a while until he even notices that there's anything up here. This is not hidden at all. I made a nice one, but Zuma keeps making holes in it. That guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm wondering how long it'll take for him to notice that this is my new base. Oh, you know what I should do? I should put a sign indicating that this is like my spare bedroom. Let me go get some wood. The tallest of all the towers is my new bedroom. Oh, I'm so excited to, to spend some time here. Let's see. How should we... Beef's spare bedroom. Beautiful. How long till he notices? Let's get that. It's going to burn my toes if I keep that there. This should be plenty of light for this area. Return completed missions here. Alrighty. Mission complete, and now I get to mission tokens. I get to just take a token, right? Isn't that how it works? Boom, I took a token. I'll just make sure I did that right. <laughs> yep, got it. We might as well take another one, I guess, right? I really want these tokens because they are valuable, according to this book. All right, come on. What's the next one? Perfect. 
What do we got here? What do we got? Mission number 13. What's that? Start with a stick and trade your way up to a diamond block using as many hermits as you need. That's a cool mission to achieve your goal without offering anything else in a trade, such as a service. This mission does not have a time limit and can span over a long period of time. That is awesome. I think that's going to be fun. So what the heck can we start with a stick? Hmm. Start with a stick. Okay, we'll have to think about that one a little bit. It's time for another Hermitcraft TZG contest thingy. Congratulations to Chris S, who guessed correctly and spelled my wife's name correctly. Kristen is her name with two I's instead of an E. A lot of people uh, mentioned or spelled it with an E, and I decided to go with the person that uh, spelled it correctly. So, Chris, congratulations. Your booster box will be shipped very, very shortly. They have all started shipping, by the way, from the previous, um, not from the contests yet. I haven't sent those out yet, but from the people who ordered them in the, in the pre-order, uh, I think in December, I believe it was, they've all started shipping out, and people are flooding my Twitter replies and mentions with pictures of their booster boxes and the contents inside and I love to see it so exciting so exciting anyway Doc's amazing arena this is beautiful this is gorgeous he spared no expense clearly I mean this is ridiculous today's trivia question is way back way back I created a mini series on YouTube that was Minecraft related it had eight or nine episodes okay and it was titled blank versus blank fill in the blanks please good luck to everybody again remember send your answers to hermitcraft tcg contest at outlook.com and i will select a winner and ship you a booster box free of charge straight to your door on your doorstep open them up send me pictures of what you got in the packs because i'm always interested to see what you get now back to the video finally getting around to fixing what Iscal broke. Iscal. He's always breaking something, this guy. He's always breaking something. Well, let's maybe put. You know what? That reminds me. Do you guys hear that? Listen. Oh, did you hear it? Do you hear it yet? One more time. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you guys remember that Iscal, when he completely plagiarized my home that I had here and built that pink home, pink monstrosity, I should say, over there, um. He actually had a villager, and I told him I didn't know what happened to the villager. Truth is, I wanted a housemate. A housemate that wasn't Iskal. So, huh, did I do it? I did it, in time. So, I saved the villager from Iskal's disgusting home that he built, and I buried him right here. Buried alive. Check him out. There he is. Now, I think, I think it's time that we make this villager ours by lifting him up and putting him in our house. Here's the thing. Whoa, am I not lag? Is lag happening? Oh, yeah, I think lag was happening. So I think I've uh, figured out a way to make it so that he doesn't leave carpets. There are carpets at every exit. He will not be able to leave the door with carpets at the exit. So I think we're safe. To, to, is this girl's, um room still up here? I gotta take that down. I think we're safe to have a housemate inside this house with us. It'll be nice, you know. It'll be um, it'll be nice. I won't be so lonely. I live on this big in this big farmhouse all by myself, and now I'm gonna have a friend. All I need is a fishing rod. Oh wait a minute, he can come down here, but I don't think there's anywhere he can go down here either. I don't even think he can accidentally trip this pressure plate because they don't crouch, so they won't be able. To trip the pressure plate. The key here is to hook the boat and not the villager. It's very difficult. There we go. You know what? I think I'm going to drop him through the kitchen ceiling. That did not. Nah. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere though. You know what? I might not have to. I could just. Yes. Perfect. Oh. You became a guy already. All right, I don't think the boat can go through. There we go. Now, before I get you out of the boat, I'm going to make sure everything is back in place here. We had a carpet there. We had one of these. We had one of these. Then we had a bone block, which is facing the wrong way currently. I said a bone block. Then we can put a smooth one. And then we can put the sign back up. Beef's home on the range. It's back. Now, if we put the door in... We should, in theory, 
be able to let this guy roam. Oh, look at that. We've got a personal chef. This might be not a bad idea, actually. Where did it, I think it was this thing, right? It was this thing. Let's break it. Okay. Now let's put it back. Maybe this could be good for us. No, not you. Okay, try again. Oh, now you're a blacksmith. A leather worker. You No, get off the counter. <gasps> yes, it works. There we go. Turned him into my own personal chef. Now all I got to do is make a few more trades and see what they have to offer afterwards. Not that I, I think it's going to be useful, this this personal chef. But hey, you never know. The, the chef is free to roam the house, by the way. I hope... I hope they stick to the kitchen, but it sounds like, or it seems like, they're just going to go anywhere and everywhere. Back to the kitchen you go, Roy. That's right, this is Roy. Ah, it's adorable. I've got to, yeah, I've got to get some more raw chicken. I'll be right back, Roy. All right, I guess it's time that we actually stock our shop. It's been long enough. I have some stuff here that I'm going to use to decorate. Now, let's take a look at the other shops and how they're decorated. So they kept the floor... Yeah, my floor is, I guess, decent. I don't know. I might change it. Um, we've got some leaves and some wood in the corners. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's check out another one here. Again, leaves in the corners. Now, he's got a very specific... So, he's got, like, the chain going here on the edge. Interesting. Let's check out Joe's area here. Again, leaves in the corner. Oh, fancy. Leaves in the corner chain in the middle here. I'm not sure I like the chain idea, but maybe I can use some of these guys. Vines to make it look a little bit cool. Whoa, what the heck is this? That's just a deco. Uh, okay. Okay. Skiz hasn't decorated his yet. So I think I'm going to try and stick to the same general theme, except that I'm going to not. <laughs> It'll change a little bit. Okay, I think I'm done. Crimson stem on this side. Warped stem on the... Wait, is it called warped stem? Warped stem. Okay, I didn't know they were both called stems. Anyway, so we've got some shulkers here that we're going to fill up with some of the wood. And I priced them at four diamonds per stack. Here's the reason why. I hate mining these things or harvesting these things. So I'm hoping the price is high enough that people don't really buy them that often. So yeah, we've got uh, some high prices and I'll raise them as I see fit. But I think this looks pretty good, right? It looks inviting. I mean, you definitely know what you're getting here. Let's let's get this out of the way and really take a step back. Huh? It's pretty good. Then we've got my, uh, my permit here. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Now, I have to go and fill up these shulker boxes. Here we go. Open for business. Oh, you grew a little extra there, buddy. Here, you can go over here. There we go. Look at that. Full shulker box of crimson stem. And then a full shulker box of warped stem. How long will they be full? Hopefully a very long time. I really hated mining these. I, uh, harvesting them. Whatever. Chopping them. It's time for another beefy tune. And where am I today? Season 7's Bone Zone. That's right, the bone. Why is it called the bone zone? Well, because there are a couple sheep here, both of them named Dinner Bone. And the uh, goal of this game was to bet on which color would be activated first by one of the feeding sheep. Check it out. Let's, let's do this right now. Release the bone. Which one is it? Which one is it? Looks like it's going to be orange. Orange wins this time. And what will be the next time? Who knows? Anyway, guys, it's time for another BP2. I'm so glad everybody liked Dire Straits last episode. That was a, a, a much more well-known piece of music. This week's not so much. It's another Canadian band, though. O.C. Elliot, Down by the Water. O.C. Elliot, Down by the Water. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet on yellow this time, okay, guys? 
yellow is what we're going to bet on. Come on, yellow. Come on, yellow. Come on, yellow. Oh, oh, he made a beeline for the red at the last second. And the red only had one piece of grass left, too. Unbelievable. Okay, anyway, OCLA down by the water. Back to the video. This is a good river. Oh, False is doing a fantastic job. My overlords, I mean bosses, will be very, very pleased with this. Oh, it's deeper than all the rivers. It's wider than all the rivers. It just needs a little bit more water. False. If you could add, if, if you could add a little bit more water, that would be fantastic. But it is looking very, very good. I'm still not sure why they wanted such a big, grand river. Maybe it's maybe it's because they want to. It's a grand gesture or something for me. They want me to have the best river because I've been such a good minion <laughs> or something it's looking really really cool though i like it anyway guys i have been laying out my barn area for the horses finally these horses will leave that little pit and make their way over here i have enough stalls for eight horses i think that's going to be more than enough there's three in there and I, ha I have some underground that i've been keeping since the beginning of the server but yeah here we go this is what i'm going to do it's going to be a two-sided barn sort of structure this is the middle here each one of these spaces is stalls they're going to have little fences or maybe walls Ooh, walls might be good so i think i can kind of communicate with each other across from the walls so i think it'll be nice instead of having each one of them enclosed and isolated so step one gather some blocks Normally, I'd build all this stuff in my creative world first and then come and copy it on this server. But today, we're going to try something a little different. This could go horribly wrong or horribly right. So first and foremost, I think we want the gates there. Now, there are, there are small stalls, but I think... Ugh, I think big enough... My mouse wheel is really acting up. I think big enough for the horses. They're going to spend most of their time out there anyway. I mean, they're going to be free-range sort of horses. So there's no there's no need to worry about that. Let's go ahead and put all the gates in. Next, we'll put the interior, or sorry, exterior lower wall up. Now, this is the only side, or the only the outsides are going to have these um, full blocks because the insides are going to have the wall blocks because, again, I want them to have as much room as possible to be able to um, play with their neighbors. So, from here, we will go straight shot right down here, and then we'll go like this. Again, this is all in my head. I don't know if it's going to look good. I might end up changing it a million times. I'm also going to try to make the barn match that barn a little bit in terms of materials used and this one a little bit in terms of materials used so that we stick to a, uh, a main theme so we have these now we have to actually oh, i think i already messed one up let's put that you put you back and then yep i gotta get more stone walls here but we're gonna put the stone walls and replace all of these interior netherrack blocks just like that okay this is looking a little bit better now the walls up here are gonna be quartz um, but we have to have a spruce roof, so now we have to kind of figure out what materials to use in the front to make it all match. I think what I'm going to do is actually expand each one of these by one, like so. Uh, do I really want to do that? Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. First mine changes happened. I took out those blocks and decided to use spruce instead, and I think this will work out a little bit better for us. Next, let's put these upper supports up. And these are going to be upside down stairs. Oh, is this too tall? No, I think that's going to be okay because horses are kind of tall in this game, aren't they? They're, they're about two blocks tall. I think that's going to be nice. Some nice headroom for the big-headed horses. And now let's fill in the wall on each side. And I think this is probably the only place you'll be able to see the quartz which is a little bit worrisome because I kind of wanted it to be seen maybe I'll replace these guys no I think that should be fine I think that'll be okay I do feel like it's a little too deep but I have I have a plan for that we're gonna bring the walls back and we're gonna use them as supports for the posts that will be sticking out of either side of the barn now we painstakingly add the steps here as the outline to our roof all the way around this is going to take forever and that should do it for the roof's frame now we have to fill in the rest with spruce stairs roof kind of complete i think i'm going to put like a couple of the little um I don't know what they're called. The little things that stick out from roofs. I have no idea what they're called. But just to add a little more detail. And that way I can make the front look a little bit more quartzy. 
compared to the sides. But anyway, now I'm going to try to figure out this overhang here. And I think I want just a nice little regular pattern. Maybe we'll put one on this side. Yes. All right, let's try this. And then we have gate, gate, and fence. How does that look? I like the way that looks. We're going to need more gates. Now let's see how a couple of these would look. Let's try... Should we do one on each end? No, I don't think I want to do one on each end. Wait, do I have to like put it out with the shovel? It is the shovel, right? Yes. Let's try and just put in the spruce trap doors above and be... Oh, that actually might look really good. Huh. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll do another one of these campfires here. And then another one of these campfires here. And maybe we will put one on the end. Let's see what this looks like. We can always change it later. Okay, I think I got the general idea of what the overhang should look like. Now all I have to do is build it on the other side. Now let's try and make those little um, uh, sticky uppy things that... Oh, wait a minute. Did I make it too far? It's, it's three wide. Then we got to go one, two, three. No, that's a, that's a good distance between them, I think. I think that's a good distance. So we're going to need probably some quartz to go up here. We'll get these down, and I'm going to try to do it on both sides yet again. Trying to decide between option A and option B. I'm leaning more towards option B. I kind of like the stone here on the front. I don't think A, there's enough contrast. So I like B. I'm going to change that one over to this one, and then do the two on the other side. Oh, boy. I just noticed this is not... <laughs> Not even equally spaced. There's two spaces here. There's one there. I've got to move this one over first. Now let's put some windows in. And because of the way this is set up, you can't exactly put <coughs> a regular little trap door. It's got to be two trap doors to fill in the space. So I'm hoping that it still looks okay. We're going to find out in just a second here. I got two more. So one up there, one up there, and then there and there. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. I also realize there's a bit of a draft in this place. <laughs> I probably should have walls, at least a back wall here. But, I mean, this is Minecraft. The horses don't care about drafts. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, that's good. It turned out better than I thought. I thought it was going to look weird and awkward. It actually looks pretty cool. All right, look at that. It's, it's looking really, really nice. It's coming together nicely. Let's finish off the side of this building now by just putting a little bit of this action followed by some quartz up top. Now we put a sort of ceiling on this place because I plan on using the top here to actually store horse-related things like armors and saddles and whatever else horses need, like maybe some hay and stuff like that. I want to make use of all the spaces I have available to me this season. Here we are upstairs in the attic space. Now there is one more thing I wanted to add. Oh, you know what I should do is probably just fill that in. I don't have another one, do I? I don't. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually add a door here. Hmm, now how should I? I think this should be the perfect spot for the door. So what we do is we climb up here on a ladder, and this is how we access the upstairs, because obviously we have no access. I mean, I could put a ladder here, but I don't want to. I want to have a nice little platform out here that we can use as access to the top floor there. Nothing too complicated, just something like that, um, possibly even like this. And we're going to probably offset it so it looks a little bit more farm-like. Now we got to put a ladder going up there, which... I'm never a fan of a ladder against the building. I always kind of want to do something different. So maybe we'll put the ladder going this way. What we'll need is a bunch more trap doors and then, of course, ladders. And there we go. We have the little stairway access or, or uh, ladder access to the top floor here with a little bit of a rickety overhang that we can maybe put some stuff on. I don't know, maybe get rid of this and put a bale of hay or a barrel or something. But anyway, lots and lots of storage in here. I got to put a door up here, I think. Um, I can't really remove this one, though. So the door might look a little awkward. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to go with... A good old oak door because we're we got we're adding some oak highlights up here. So I think this makes sense. Let's put it on the inside. And now let's see how that oh that's fine. I think that's good. If we put it on the outside, it might have been a little bit it might look a little bit weird butted up against this trap door, but I think that is good. Now, the other side, I had another plan. Another little overhang here on the side, and for this one, I'm gonna actually have 
compost underneath. That's right, compost. Now, the only problem is I might run out of room here. So we have to start the compost piles. Uh, oh, no, no, no. That's not what we want. Oh, goodness. Not what we want. We want the compost piles within here. This is the middle. Oh, yeah, that'll be plenty of room here for the compost. So we'll have um, composting and composted. But we're not going to use these blocks. We're going to use some probably trap doors and a combination of that and maybe some maybe some walls actually walls might be good uh, usually you want compost piles to have like air vents walls are not very airy or venty so maybe trap doors is the way to go and i think oak trap doors would be perfect for this side something like this okay i need a lot more of these there we go, that's a little compost pile. Should I put some trap doors here just to differentiate a little bit from the middle? Uh, not a huge fan. In fact, I think I want like a straight wall here. So what we're gonna do is, do I have any more? I don't have a lot of oak left. Of course I could go cut some oak, but why do that when you can just do this? Here, let's just break these up, put this down like so. There's our wall separating our compost. We've got the composting and the composted. And now, I think what I want to do is actually put a one, put, put a one here. <laughs> one there, one there. I think that's good. Oh, it's looking awesome. I'm not a huge fan of this middle section here, but really, uh, there, I don't really see how I could improve it, to be honest. Uh, if I put a wall there, then there's going to be a gap and it's going to look kind of weird. Wood is probably not the best material to use either for compost, but that's okay. That's what we used. It's looking good, though. Looking good. Now, all I have to do is add the detail for the rest of this entire area. I don't know how I should make the soil look. I'm guessing just a few of these guys here and there, and then a few, maybe, maybe not puzzle, but maybe just coarse dirt here and there. Nothing like over here. Over here is very, very detailed, but... You know, in horse pastures, it's not really as trampled as it is when cows are roaming on it. So we're going to have a lot more grass here, a lot more greenery. Um, but I think it's going to look good. And I really like the way this turned out. You know, can I do something else up here? Hold on one more thing just to see where is my stuff. I don't know if this will look any good, but I'm going to give it a shot. That looks terrible. I, I meant to put it on this side. Hmm. That might add a little bit of detail to the top here that I was missing. Let's take a step back. It's barely noticeable, but you know what? It's a nice detail to have. I like it. We're going we're gonna to do that for both sides. And then we're going to call this barn done. I added some lighting, but what do you think? What do you think? I think it's pretty good. There are still lots of little details that I'm going to add, like shrubbery and um, just just different things here and there. I might even change some of these uh, spruce stairs into different blocks, maybe some dark oak to give it a little bit of roof variation. But I think it looks pretty good. I hope you guys like it too. And that's where I'm going to leave you today. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I really liked making this little barn for the horses. I can't wait to actually uh, finish the terrain here and get the horse. I got one of these one of these wren things in here too. I gotta get rid of this. Maybe we'll leave it. I hope it's not poisonous to the horses. And then of course I've got Iskal, Iskal's um, kit of disp kit, dispenser kit. Dispense is still here too. He's gotta get that out of here. But anyway, the, the horses are gonna have a nice pretty large area to roam here. A lot larger than the cows area. I think they'll enjoy it. And I think my neighbors will enjoy the visual of having some nice, cool horses and a cool-looking barn. Maybe not the whole compost part, but a nice, cool barn for them to look at when they look out their windows. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.